Those who gathered for the Saturday evening powwow say the impasse in the ruling United Workers Party government is over. Some elected members claim there was never an issue in the first place. Housing Minister Richard Frederick and Transport Minister Guy Joseph say the situation was blown out of proportion. For the housing minister, the media is to blame. Sometimes I believe the media is responsible for perpetuating a lot of rumor. Um, I never said so categorically and I don't know where it came from, but um, it is not a position I have taken and for now, uh, Steve remains the Prime Minister. I am quite satisfied that we have done what is in the best interest of St. Lucia and the government. <clears throat> I do not think the situation was as critical as it was made out to be initially, um, but given the circumstances that we were faced with, it was one where we needed the input of all, elect, of all of the elected members. Party chairman Carl Daniel had a different take on what many called a crisis in the government. He says concessions had to be made because of the pain and suffering experienced by the St. Lucian people during this time. Daniel says everyone who attended the meeting knew what was at stake, the government. People had to make concessions in light of the interest of our, the Flabu people. Flabu supporters and the wider St. Lucian public. So that is what that is what is was um, very important to us throughout the deliberations, and it means having a fresh start, including everybody, and and having total support for the Prime Minister. One of the two men who previously withdrew support for the Prime Minister says party members had to do their part as country leaders. Shwazel MP Rufus Buske says members did what they had to do to continue to govern. Anytime the people who are responsible for the lives of an entire nation come together and decide that they're going to do what's in the best interest of the country and that they're going to try as much as possible to resolve any outstanding issues relating to their ability to move forward, I don't look at it as compromise. What I look at it at is having found common ground so that we can work together. The meeting came one day after the resignation of Economic Affairs Minister Osbert Dove. His role in the government had been a source of contention for elected members who felt he wielded too much power. The meeting was held at the Prime Minister's official residence at VG. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.